Oh, too much across the angle. He went too far forward, didn't he? And then the ball got played too much on the angle there. It's going to be right out of play. Ah, frustration. And then we intercept the ball and just straight out of play. Very frustrating. The signs that, you know, the passing's getting nicer and crisper and quicker. And all of a sudden, here we go again. Gomez is brilliant. And then we give it away. Where the pony reads it well, cuts it out. This edge. Good control there by Wasberg, but we put a ball. Oh. I'm trying to do a bit of nice footwork with Cedron to have a bit of fun with him and the flipping turn, giving it away and if they score from this I'm not going to be chuffed now that not look like a right turkey I just thought, you know I like this player, I'm going to have a bit of fun with him did a nice little turn and give it away and they nearly scored I oh, was flipping good Right, good turn. Oh, and every time we, we try and make the angle to pass, Newcastle are buzzing around, spoiling all the fun. Oh, I don't know what happened there, but I haven't directed his side right. Let's just give it away. Or the pony comes over to the near side and gets it out. I don't know what he's doing there. But it just seems to go into this little spell of... Oh, it's bastardised my pass. It's just bastardised it and give it straight to them. So what loads in there, it won't, it won't register a pass. It's really being bucky about stuff at the minute. It's it. Mm. I don't normally hit really long range ones, but it's nice to throw one in there again. And Wasberg can crack a really good shot, he really can. He's going to score from some distance at some point, he really is. Put that there corner, this looks a good one. Get the aid on it. And That's the first in the shadows there. Uh, I'm getting the impression that there's quite a few people who don't like the shadows on this game. Um, yeah, they can be a bit off-putting, can't they? Now, I figured that Slow Westing would be the, the one to uh, have the energy down a bit. So what I think I'm going to do is this. I'm going to play this lad at right back. I'm going to bring this guy on, this youngster, and swap sides with Larkinless because he can play on the left hand side. And I brought Ram now, uh, as well as um, Kanika. Um, but Pratt does seem to have the energy. It's uh, race, that doesn't. So now it's either play Ram now or play for Sardinia. Um and I don't know what to do there, to be honest. Uh, choices, choices, make a decision. I haven't got into play around now. Let's put that out in the edit. Edit. Now let me come back here eh, enough, that's right. I didn't need to do all I'd already done it. So break it to left. Right. Penalty kick. I have to join the tank and put this edge forward as well. 66 minutes gone. 
but then starts with the goal kick towards the halfway line. And a dastard egg pass did not pass it there and didn't. I passed it to the nearer lead shirt and just put it to the further one. I came as well there. Which does really well. Get it back to his edge with the left foot, get it in there, head it. They scored last time, he almost scored this time, we were looking for the pass and they were just chasing me in that club. It is like school kids, it is, isn't it? It's like, you know, when you played school kids and you had your coats on the floor for goalposts and that, and you'd see a pack of kids all running in the same area and you knew that somewhere among that pack of kids there were a ball, but they'd all go in the same area as the ball and the pack had, depending where the ball was on the pitch, the pack had moved from one end to the other and one side to the other and that, that's what it's like it's like flipping kids it's pathetic isn't it and it'd be a bit more flowy in here It's hard to be flowing when they're just like snapping at you all the time with a pony. Totted, Mr. Referee, Mr. Referee. Ram now. Scores his first goal for the club. And that's his celebration, the cartwheel and the little punch. Again, he's a player, I'm not sure how many people have used him, but i tell you something now, he's a, he's a good player this round now. I've had him for Newbridge County side, and yeah, good player. Really quick, and you know, got good body balance and that. Good feet. Good little player, this one. Not on his skill card, but you know, boy can play. Really can. So, uh, yeah, and as, as you've seen, you know, he can do the... Uh, Attacking midfield as well. What can he can? Can he cook can? Coming up, coming in now. Right in front of my people to run onto it and run now. Speaking about him running and speed. Getting kind of holes him up there. Let's make it back. Run now. Reyes twatted Mr. Referee. We've got a body in front of him as well. Runs it back. He must be getting a bit naked. Oh, and then we try and play it to him. He goes further away from the ball. And their man comes forward. You know, how many times do we make that complaint? Are you going to change? It's stupid, really, because you would have thought that in reality that your player would see that, you know, be aware, be conscientious of what's going on around you and get this through here. The trouble. Well, twat it bad, you know. This is a joke, in it? When they all start really piling in there, the ball's still in play, is it? And the time was still counting down. If I'd left that ball there, offside, and that was going to be the match, in it? Once I take this free kick, it will still blow because it will go to an area of the pitch. Oh, look at that, 98 minutes plus three. If I had left that ball in corner flag, the referee wouldn't have blown his whistle. I could have left it there. He wouldn't have blown his whistle at all. Could have been there all day and wouldn't have blown his whistle. He only blows it when he gets to a certain area of the pitch. But anyway, 
Leeds for Newcastle 1. Uh, Lashburg, man of the match. Have a look at the league table and that. Doing well. Liverpool 0, Cardiff 2. Manchester United 1, West Brom 0. Huddersfield 0, Stoke 1. Leeds 4, Newcastle 1. Leicester City 4, Crystal Palace 0. Queen's Park Rangers 1, Southampton 0. Tottenham Hotspur 2, Hull City 4. Sunderland 1. Chelsea 4, Everton 0, Arsenal 4, a lot of teams scored 4 goals, Manchester City 3, West Ham United 0, table coming up. And there we are, 3 points ahead of Manchester City, 3 points behind Arsenal. Um, Tottenham in 7th, 46, quite close with Newcastle. Stoker on 41, so I guess they're not out of it really yet, depending what happens. And at the bottom, Huddersfield are gone, aren't they? Six points, that is just... They are gone. Leicester, 20 points. Sunderland, 22. West Brom, 26. I think it's out of them, really, isn't it? You never know, though, do you? Okay, right. I shall catch you for the next one.